All right, Stevie Wonder says he's going to move to Ghana um, to shield his grandchildren and great-grandchildren from racial injustices. I want to see this nation smile again, he told Oprah. I want to... And I want to see it before I travel and to move to Ghana because I'm going to do that. Wow. So he's going to move there indefinitely. He's gone, never coming back like from the Lion King. Gone to never return. So he's going to move there and never come back. <clears throat> when asked if he plans to re relocate permanently, Stevie Wonder said, I am, because I don't want to see my grandchildren's ch children's children say, Oh, please like me. Please respect me. I know that I'm important. Please value me. What kind of life is that? This man's deep. Uh, what else? The star's decision may be influenced by a number of reasons, but it is often said that Living in the majority of black regions gives black individuals a sense of safety. Ah, yeah. Tell that to Compton and Detroit. Tell that to all the ghettos in America. Being around black people when you're black, great safety. Great stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Many argue that within the U.S. attending historically black Black colleges and university gives American students. Okay, so they're pretty much saying that, like, oh, black people together strong. We strong. Um, so, yeah, this isn't the first time Stevie Wonder has been saying that he's going to move to Ghana. He's been saying that since early as 1994. Before I was even born, he was going to say that. Um, Said he's going to move there because there's more sense of community there. It feels safer. Yeah, he's fallen in love with the country. So, yeah, that, that's about it. Um, oh, um, oh wow, look at this. Um, late last month, in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the musician wrote an emotional letter to the late civil rights leader and addressed the lack of racial advancement since the fight for equality, which began in the U.S. in the mid-50s. Dr. King, I met you when I was 14 years of age, he began. You were a true hero and you became an inspiration. Wow, I never knew that um, Stevie Wonder met uh, Martin Luther King. The more you know, the more you know. Wow. So, um, this goes on to say that um, uh, about he's complaining about slavery and the lack of um, progression. Um, so, yeah, my thoughts on this, I really don't know if Stevie Wonder is going to move. I mean, he's been saying this since, like, what, 1994? For like what, twenty five years? I mean, is he really gonna do it? I, I doubt it. The man's like seventy five. The man's like seventy years old. He doesn't want to move. I mean, he's got it good here. I mean, I don't want. I don't want to um be disrespectful to Stevie Wonder because, like I said, he's one of my favorite musicians of all time. I've been listening to him like since I was in like third grade. He's been. He's had like a big influence on like what I listen to now. But it's kind of. I know I'm not the first person to say this. I don't. I don't want to sound like, I don't want to sound like an Uncle Tom, but he is like one of like the most successful black people in like American history. Like, let's look in the article. He has like what, twenty five Grammy wins. He's he's been signed to like record labels since he was like twelve years old. A child prodigy. Like, he's black and he has it pretty good here. Like. Like I said, I don't want to sound like an Uncle Tom or anything, but it, it seems kind of tasteless just saying this. Like, oh, I'm going to move because of the lack of racial uh, progress. Like, Stevie Wonder, you are a millionaire. You are a successful black musician. Like, what are you complaining about? You have it all right now. It's just crazy to me. But um, if he wants to move, hey, more power to him. But uh, we're going to miss Stevie Wonder. We're going to miss him. Um, am I missing anything in the article? It doesn't look like it's, it's a pretty short article. So I want to keep this video short. Uh, all, the, all the love and respect to Stevie Wonder. Um, he has a new song of Gary Clark Jr. that came out like, what, four months ago? I haven't seen many people talking about it. Um, 
I think you should check it out. Both amazing singers, both excellent musicians. Um, I've said it before. Uh, Gary Clark Jr. When he when he's in like that state, he can sing just like Stevie Wonder. Uh, he has like an amazing voice, and they have like an amazing duet on the song. The song is called "Where Where Is Our Love." Um, yeah, it came out October twenty twenty. Um, the song really hasn't gotten that much attention. Um, not that I see. It, it's a fantastic song, so I think you should check it out. Um, that's just a, from some free endorsement for Stevie Wonder. So um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Peace.